Hi everybody, welcome back my Ramlets. It's Nebu here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for, so much for tuning in for Saturday's anime pick. Um, as always, if you guys would like to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more um, 90s content on Wednesdays and anime picks on Saturdays. Well, without further ado, let's talk about today's anime pick. And today's pick is called Cannon Busters. It is available on Netflix right now. There's one season, uh, 12 episodes. Uh, so stay tuned for today's review and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, so let's get into our review of the anime series Cannon Busters. You can find it on Netflix. It's 12 episodes long. Uh, one season the episodes run about 23 minutes long so if I had to I can't really wrap up the the series as far as what genre it fits into it's got a little bit of everything so it's got like a western setting mixed with magic mixed with robotics and mechas uh, mixed with bounty hunting it's just got a lot of themes and elements all pushed into one show. It kind of, the feel or aesthetic kind of reminds me of Trigun, if you guys are familiar with that kind of like Western bounty hunter series. It's very similar to that. So the story is based around three major characters. You've got Sam. She is a robot and the main kind of protagonist of the series. Um, she is looking for her friend who was a prince um, that basically was kidnapped. Then you have um, her friend who's also a smaller robot named Casey that's able to fix things. Um, she's considered kind of obsolete because she's an older model. And then you have Philly the Kid who um, has a big bounty on his head. He's actually immortal and can't be killed. So the series gener is generally centered and focused around those three and their attempts to go find this prince um, to save him. So I would say each individual episode is kind of standalone. So something different happens in each episode and they're not um, necessarily connected until you get to the last two episodes in the season. Those two are connected. Um, the series was a mixed bag for me, but what I did like was um, the use of people of color, POC um, characters. Um, I think that I would love to um, cosplay as Sam because it's just there's not a whole lot of people of color characters out there but if you're interested in the series I would definitely give it a watch it's interesting all right my ramlets uh, I hope you enjoyed that review um, this show was kind of a mixed bag for me uh, there was a lot of different elements in it kind of thrown together the characters and in the initially could be a little bit annoying but um, I can tell you that they're looking at doing a season two since season one sets up for a season two. Uh, I'm not sure when that's going to be, but it will be on Netflix. So, of course, as always, if you guys would like to support me outside of my channel, you can pick up merchandise from my Teespring store. Um, I released some new designs on Teespring, so please give those a check. Um, and if you like something, go ahead and, and purchase it. It'll come straight to your door. Um, and if you don't want to do the merchandise, you can always become a Patreon of mine and support me. That way I'll leave both my Teespring and my Patreon links in the description box as well. Also, um, I would like to do a giveaway soon. Um, I think I have 58 subscribers right now. So when I get to um, 100 subscribers, I would like to do a special giveaway for um, all of my subscribers. So please stay tuned to that as I get closer to um, getting more subscribers. I'll give you guys more information on what the giveaway will contain. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, be kind, and be well. I'll see you next time. Bye.